Okay, um, let's program a neuron, one neuron, just one neuron. So um, in this case, we um, generally we would like to um, make a class of neuron, neuron like this, and one um, neuron has two numbers as property. So um, one is weight, and one is bias. Okay, um, but well, I'm presenting. Um, um, the OP implementation of this one like this, but in practice, you are going to um, model um, one layer, a set of set of neurons for well in in practical um, APIs. But this is the educational purposes. In, well, instead of the practical use. So let's assume that our um, neuron already have property like um, W was equal to number 2 and B was equal to number 1 in our previous lecture. Okay. So um, these numbers, these weight and bias will be trained in, in next lecture, um, by means of backpropagation, are going to explain. But anyway, well, let's assume that they are trained and they have property like W is equal to number two and B is equal to number one. And well, we started for the propagation, the feed forward um, step. So um, we can model like this. Um, the, well, we want to obtain output number float, and the function name is prop propagation prop propagate forward forward from input x from plot. Okay, so first we make. Sum is w, w times x plus b, right? And we want to we want activation here. Okay, so let's implement some activation functions. Activation functions. So um, first, we can implement identity activation function. So in this case, this is get act identity from input. And this simply returns the same number, return. So if we use identity activation function, um, get act identity, then we can simply return identity function. So I know that um, identity activation function is a waste of computing, computing time, computing time. Well, get act identity, but I well, we, we are going to generalize activation functions. Okay, let's test it. Test it. So, um, class new from class neuron, we can make an identity of um, in, in, um, instance of this neuron, my neuron here. So um, let's see out some results. My neuron dot prop forward from zero, zero uh, 
um, 0 0.5, number 1. Let's move hello neuron at the head of this. Ah, I lost it. Okay. So, let's execute it. So, number 1, 2, 3, they are linear relationship between the input and output. And let's try, let's try a different activation function here. So um, the one of the most popular activation function is ReLU. ReLU function. ReLU. Get act ReLU. And by definition, ReLU function is a max, FTD max. Um, let me include algorithm first, and then we can use STD max. And from 0.0 f x. Okay. So let's. So let's simply comment it out and replace it like this. So we have um, ReLU activation function now. Okay, let's test with the same data set. There is no difference, no difference, because the ReLU function is max between zero. Um, and x. So, but the difference comes from the negative input, minus number one. Um, maybe zero, minus zero point five, one. So in this case, in this case, well, from minus one, you obtain number zero. From minus zero point five, you obtain number zero. And one to three. So, um, <coughs> this is a relationship like this. And this is zero. So x, y, and this is the um, linear relationship, but it's what, well, by from um, ReLU function, well, you obtain result like this.